Greetings, all saints. It's the season of Advent, so even as our calendar year is drawing to a close, a new church year has begun. And I want to give you an update on where we are with our capital campaign. As of now, we've had almost $18 million pledged, which represents 70% of our congregation. And so to those of you who have given, thank you so very much. And to those of you who have yet to give that 30%, we would still invite you to join in and participate with us. We're, we're still a long way from closing that gap from 18 million to our needed $30 million to complete the project. And so some of the things that we've been doing in order to close that gap is deferring some of the parts of the project to a later date, uh, which would allow for us to omit building the balconies uh, as well as the mezzanine area. Also, the undercroft or the basement area and the multiple classrooms that we have there designed, as well as the bell tower. And removing all of those from the first phase of building the sanctuary would save about $2 million, which would be the maximum amount that we could save. We've also considered building something else, including maybe a gym on the south lot, one that we could worship in. Uh, the problem there being is that it would still be pretty expensive, as much as $10 million. Uh, and also, that would take a number of years in order to design, get permitting, and then to build maybe as long as four years. Uh, another option is a complete redesign of the sanctuary to make the sanctuary smaller and therefore more affordable. Again, the problem there is timing. It would take potentially re-permitting and also then a redesign, which could add at least two years to the project, in addition to two years of construction. So again, we're looking at four years. And then it still might cost us $20 million, but for a sanctuary that is much, much smaller and doesn't alleviate the space constraints that we now find ourselves having. Others have also asked about the possibility of selling our South Lot. We own the seven acres in between the church campus and the neighborhood to the south, the neighborhood of Lantana. Our elders have decided in the past that is not something that we want to do. And so at this point, we're not considering selling that lot. The primary option that we want to consider is increasing the amount of funding that we have already received. And so if you're one of those 30% of our congregation who has yet to make a pledge, I would invite for you to do so, to consider joining us at some amount. So that participation percentage might increase to 80, 85, 90% or even above. And then if you are one of those from the 70% that has already made a pledge, thank you. Thank you so very much for your generosity. But if you have planned to give in regular amounts over the next three years, would you consider extending that pledge to a fourth year or to a fifth year? And if you're giving in lump sums this year, would you consider giving that same lump sum or another amount in the subsequent years? Together as an entire congregation, we might see the amount that we have pledged increase so much closer to that $28 million goal. And if we don't get there, what are the other alternative options if we don't pursue building a sanctuary? I I want you to know it so that later on, if that's where we get to, you're not surprised and you know on the front end that these are the possibilities. And one of those primary options would be a multi-site model where I and our other pastors seek to go out to different places around Austin and have and host worship services there. The goal would be to take significant portions of our congregation and to gather them at other locations besides this campus, maybe as much as half of our congregation being dispersed to other locations. Having 1,200 people gather here on a Sunday in a four hour time span with three services back to back to back with only 10 minutes in between isn't an option that's sustainable over the long term. And of course, this is not something that we want to do. We really do as a staff and leadership desire to continue worshiping here at our current campus. And we want to do so as one church together. And so, Please know that we as a leadership truly believe that 
building the sanctuary is what the Lord has for us. And so this is what we're going to continue to pursue. And so please do join us in that. If you've already made a pledge, please do prayerfully consider increasing that pledge if that is a possibility for you. And if you have yet to make a pledge, please do join us. We would love to have our entire church family pursue this option of building a sanctuary together. And as always, thank you for worshiping at All Saints and making us your church home. We look forward to continue worshiping with you throughout the rest of the season of Advent and in the year to come.